Hey YouTubers, Steven here. Well, today is bottling day for the ginger pale ale. Uh, I left it for two weeks and I'm going to show you an easy way uh, to clean beer bottles and to sanitize. You get a little system um, going and uh, you can make your job a, a lot faster. Now, I'm sure a lot of people want to get into bottling their own beer or uh, are wondering, you know, what's really the best thing to use for all your beer bottles? And the answer is right here. These Coke trays are awesome. Uh, you can get 30 bottles on a tray versus the Pepsi. Uh, the Pepsi ones, because they're, they're grooved on the inside, um, you can probably only get about 22 or 24 bottles on it. Um, but Coke does have trays that are grooved in here on the sides. Uh, you won't get as many bottles on these. So if you're going to look to pick up a few of these from a restaurant or a store or somebody you have, knows that happens to have these, um, make sure they're, they're, they're straight on the sides and on the top and you'll squeeze your 30 bottles in each tray. So let me show you how I wash my bottles. Okay, so here's my setup. There's my 30 bottles that need to be washed. Sink of hot soapy water and my empty tray over on the side and note I have a tea towel underneath to soak up the water there will be lots of water okay so what I do is I take a bottle and I put it in the in the water get some water in it take my brush stick it inside and I I put all the weight on the handle so that I get right up in the corners I scrape the bottom and then I brush all the way around Pull it out, drain it out, and then put it on the tray. Once all the bottles are washed, then I'll repeat the process and rinse all my bottles. Now I do have a water jet uh, that I can hook up to the hose. Unfortunately, I don't have the attachment for my sink, but uh, that helps save a lot of um, time and effort for rinsing out the bottles, and uh, maybe I'll show you uh, the water jet in a minute. Now. If you have new bottles um, that still have the labels on them, uh, haven't been washed out, my recommendation, and I found this works the best, and it's best to do someday when your wife's not home, uh, fill the bathtub up with hot water, but as you're filling it with hot water, um, I put a drop of soap in each beer bottle, and I fill it up under the neck. Um, and this is, again, for new bottles that, that have never been used for uh, home brewing. Fill each of the bottles up with the water as you're filling the tub. And then stand the bottles up in the tub. Um, once you get your tub full of bottles, um, I'm sure many tubs are, are going to be a little different. But uh, my particular tub, I can fit 60 bottles standing up quite easily. And what you do is fill the water so that it goes over the tops of the bottles and then let it soak. Leave it soak for about two hours and then uh, just a matter of getting comfortable on your knees and then start scrubbing. Uh, if you have a little nylon uh, pad, that will really help you get the labels off. But if you leave it for two hours, most of the labels will just peel right off anyway, so probably be laying in the bottom of the tub. But keep that in mind as well before you drain the tub. Get all the labels out of the water first because you don't want the labels going down your drain. Either that or have something that uh, you can use as a screen. They, they sell them in a lot of stores, you know, for like your sink. You just lay it on the bottom and so that nothing goes down the drain. Now I'm going to finish the rest of these bottles and I'll show you how to rinse. Okay, now all of our bottles are washed and it's also really important to take note of your bottles. Now, hopefully this will come out. But you see how the top of this is chipped? Sometimes that happens with uh, twist off bottles. So one, you have to be very careful when you're washing them in case you have one of these because uh, it will chip your finger or cut your finger. Uh, the other, you don't want to reuse this because it's not going to seal. So. This will go in our bin for recyclables and it'll go back and get broken up and made into something else. So let's go outside and rinse our bottles.
Now the first thing you want to do, this whole lever moves up and down. You want to hold it up when you turn the water on. If not, you may get a little squirt of water in the face. And it does squirt pretty high. All right, so let's get started. I usually go one bottle and just push down, put the other bottle in just to give it a little rinse on the outside. Let the water drain out. Do the same with the second. Put them in the tray. And just keep repeating the process. All right, so we're ready to sanitize now. Um, I have one of these nifty little rigs that squirts the sanitizer up. Uh, the foam is from the star sand. I'm actually doing something different. So what I usually do is I grab two bottles. First bottle, I do two squirts. While that's draining, I'm doing the second one. I drain the other, put it on the tray, grab another bottle, and I get a little repetition going here. A little pattern. I can usually whiz through these bottles in just a few minutes, actually. Okay, so I bulk primed my bucket, and in true fashion, we're making beer, we're drinking beer. So this is a red ale that I made. It was an extract kit from a local uh, beer company here called Noble Grape. This is a, a red ale, and in the kit, uh, I actually bought, uh, instead of dextrose, there is a, a glucose that they sell. A third, two thirds of the container is glucose, a third is dark malt extract, and I believe it's Cascade hops. Now who says you can't get head? from a kit. I don't know how clear that's going to be, but it's a uh, it's a bit darker than a typical red ale. But uh, the hops give it a, a real nice citrusy start, just like um, like an India pale ale. <clears throat> but it's got a really strong ale flavor. Um, after you get off after the citrusy and uh, is real good so I got my beer I'm ready to start bottling everything's been sanitized uh, so <clears throat> you got my siphon and this is the ginger pale ale I'm gonna give it a shove and we're gonna start bottling all right I get my first tray done, and look at that lacing. You know, Coopers may not have good head and, and lacing that everyone complains about, but this is an extract kit. Beautiful. All right, now, what I do is I take, I count out my 60 um, caps, and I put them in a little bowl of sanitizer, just to be safe. One out, pop it on the top. It's just that easy. Now to do it another 59 times. Okay, and on a final tip before I leave you, okay, best thing, especially if you make lots of different batches of beer like I do, uh, all these gold caps all look the same. How are you going to know which bottles of beer are which? CD marker. Just take the CD marker once all the caps are dry, and then just write an abbreviation. In this particular case, these bottles, GPA, because it's my ginger pale ale. Uh, and then just write on all of them. I do this with all my batches of beer because I have lagers, which is usually an L. Pale ale is PA, IPA, no brainer. So on a final note, true maritime fashion, Sociable!
Nothing better than homebrew.